back in the day, if you wanted to get noticed, it meant renting a billboard, taking out an ad in a newspaper, or failing that, just standing on a soapbox in the park and pontificating. But now, with large search engines being the go-to fonts of information for most of us, to make themselves heard, people, companies, and other organizations have been seeking ways to fight and claw to the top of search results using a process called search engine optimization, or SEO. But what is that? Well, you see, giant search engines like Google use algorithms to try to push relevant results to the top of the page so that when a user types in computer mouse, they'll get links to buy a new input device rather than pictures of Stuart Little trying to use a PC. Now, how exactly these algorithms work are usually closely guarded trade secrets but there's enough public knowledge for webmasters to attempt to tune their pages to boost their position in the search results. In fact, Google even puts out a search engine optimization starter guide to help website owners improve their chances of earning the coveted top result. So then for starters, it's a good idea to optimize your pages metadata. Metadata is all the stuff other than the actual content people will see in their browser window. And accurate metadata, things like descriptive page titles or embedding a short explanation of what's on the page into your HTML, which you can often end up seeing underneath a Google result, can help push your site up to the top. A more recent development is making URLs themselves more informative. You've probably seen this on news sites, which have started to use file names that indicate what the article is about, like tasteless YouTuber wears socks and sandals.html, which is a lot more helpful to a search engine than just assigning some random number. Another pro tip is to nest your pages in some sort of sensible directory structure organized by things like topics and dates. But what about the page itself? Well, since most modern search engines use how often a page is linked to as a key metric of its importance, providing descriptive text links in the body of a web page to other pages on your site can be very helpful. And search engines are also aware of things like topic headers and alt text for images to help categorize the site. The key, as with any metadata, is to keep these as short, but also as informative and descriptive as possible to make it easier for a search engine to determine that your site is relevant to a particular topic. Of course, though, everything we've outlined so far is a legitimate SEO strategy. There are plenty of other tricks that might be employed by unscrupulous site owners. These collectively are known as black hat SEO or spamdexing. And their goal is to try to make the page seem more relevant to a topic than it actually is. And these tricks can take the form of anything from hiding keywords in invisible text that a user would have to highlight to see, to buying link backs or even traffic from other sites, to using irrelevant keywords that might just be trending at the moment or even just overusing the relevant ones. This kind of behavior has resulted in a bit of a digital arms race between search engine developers who are trying to weed out these pages for their users and spammers or site owners who are desperate for clicks and aren't above using shady tactics. So who will ultimately win? Well, let me put it this way. As search giants like Google deploy more sophisticated methods to separate the signal from the noise, my advice is if you want your website to be around for a long time, stick to the honest, tried and true tactics, even if your website does feature material of ill repute. Speaking of SEO tricks, if that's just yet another thing that you don't want to deal with when you want to build your own website, Squarespace actually does a lot of this stuff automatically. Squarespace is the way to go. If you want to build a simple, powerful, beautiful website, it's easy to use. You just 
you know, click here and go, okay, I want a picture there. You type up your text. The whole thing has got a cloud interface that is really clean. And if you have trouble with it, they've got 24 seven support via live chat and email. It's just 12 bucks a month and every Squarespace site features responsive design. So your website scales to look great on any device, features commerce. So you've got a free online store and you can even publish Oh, wow, no, hold on, here's a new feature. New currencies for commerce. You can accept payments from Mexico, Russia, Hong Kong, Thailand, New Zealand, and more. Flippin' awesome. So start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. And when you sign up for Squarespace for real, use offer code TECHQUICKIE and get 10% off your first purchase. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, leave a comment, subscribe, and, uh, ah, Damn it, I'm sure I'm missing something, but you know the drill anyway.